So this is the cosine rule. As you can see, it's about uh, triangles, and uh, the rule uh, says that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times cos a. And the letters here, we've got uh, small a, b, and c, they denote the side lengths uh, of the triangle, so the length of each of the sides, and the angles a, b, and c uh, are ca uh, capitals, which uh, are each of these angles. Now it doesn't really matter which order I've labelled the, the sides and angles, but it is important that uh, angle A is opposite side length A, that angle B is opposite side length B, and angle C is opposite side length C. It can be a little bit confusing, obviously, because a little C looks like a capital C, so you have to be careful if you're using that letter. Um, but uh, up to up, but the letters themselves can be interchanged apart from keeping those opposite. So it's important that um, the angle that you're referring to here matches up as the opposite one of this uh, of this side length here. Now, what sort of problems is the cosine rule useful for? Well, you can see that if we knew all of the different lengths a, b, and c, I could just substitute them in here, and then these would all just become numbers, and the only thing that would be left is is a capital A here. So, one situation that this is uh, good for is if we know all three uh, sides of a triangle, and we're trying to find out uh, the angle. So, for example, here's a here's a problem. I've got a triangle with side lengths six, seven, and eight. And I'd like to work out what the angle x is. So, our angle x there in the formula corresponds to capital A. So that means that we will call this uh, eight length uh, A. It doesn't matter which of these we call uh, B and C. It's not going to make any difference at all in the formula over here, and we'll just substitute these then uh, into the formula. So uh, a is 8, so I get 8 squared, um, b is 6, and c is 7, so that's 6 squared uh, and 7 squared. Then minus 2 times b times c, so minus 2 times 6 times 7 times uh, the cosine of uh, a, times cos of a, and uh, a here is uh, what we've got as x. So, that's the substitute. I'll stop using the different colours now, and uh, 8 squared is 64, 6 squared plus 7 squared is 85, 2 times 6 times 7 is 84, so this is minus 84 times uh, cos x, and so rearranging this, if I subtract 85 from both sides and then divide by uh, 80, uh, minus 84, we get 64 minus 85 divided by minus 84 is cos x. So if we use the calculator now, um, I'm going to put in 64 minus 85, divide that by minus 84, that gives us one quarter, so we've got cos x equals one quarter. So I'm just going to do shift cos, cos inverse uh, of the of the answer we had there, one quarter, um, and that's going to give us an angle of 75.5 uh, degrees, and let's just round that there to uh, one decimal place or three significant figures. And although this triangle isn't necessarily to scale, a quick glance back looks, you know, that, that that answer looks reasonable, so I'm going to be uh, happy with that. So that's one situation the cosine rule is really useful for, where we've got all three side lengths and we just want to work out an angle. Um, apart from that, uh, well, well, let's suppose we had the angle A, um, and then what if we wanted to work out uh, one of the side lengths given some of the other side lengths? So, for example, if I had uh, B and C, little b and little c, and angle A, then everything on the right-hand side would be a, just a number, uh, and then I could work out little a. That would be uh, easily enough. Um, on the other hand, if I only had, if I had A and B, say, and angle A, then this would be a number, this would be a number, but I'd still have C squared here, and I'd also have a C here and that would lead to a, a quadratic equation, possibly, which again, we could solve, poss might have uh, two different answers, but um, that's a little bit more complicated. So let's stick with the 
a most straightforward case that's useful for, which is if we have B, C, and A. So what that would mean is if we're in a situation where we've got uh, the two lengths and the angle that's between those two lengths. So not, if not having, say, B, C, and angle B, but making sure I've got ang lengths B, C, and the angle between them. So it might be something like uh, this situation uh, here. So um, here I've got a triangle with uh, lengths 8 and 3, and this included angle between the two of them is 50 degrees. So just labelling uh, the different uh, things here, so I've got uh, angle A, and I've got uh, side length here A, and we can have these B and C, it doesn't really matter which way around they are, and let's say we're trying to find here then length A, we can do that from the cosine rule formula, so we've got uh, A squared uh, equals B squared plus C squared, so that's uh, 3 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times b times c, so minus 2 times 3 times 8 times the cosine of angle A, which is 50 degrees. Again, I'll stop using the colours now I've substituted those in. So we've got A squared equals 3 squared plus 8 squared, which is 73, minus 2 times 3 times 8, which is uh, 48, so minus 48 times cos 50, um, and now we'll use the calculator, and uh, so we've got 73 minus 48 times cos 50, um, so that gives us a squared equals 42.14 6, and so A is the square root of that, uh, which is 6.49. So let's round that off to uh, three significant figures or two decimal places. If we had units here, you know, let's say these are all in centimetres, of course I'd say centimetres in my uh, answer as well. And again, that looks like a reasonable answer, given the looking back to the question, uh, 6.49 centimetre seems to be in proportion with everything else that's there. So we've got two cases where the cosine rule is quite useful there. We had the first one where we've got all three sides known and one angle uh, missing. In fact we could work out all the other angles as well in exactly the same way. Or if we've got two sides and the included angle uh, then we can work out uh, the other side as well. And as we say you could in theory use the cosine rule in other cases um, but uh, it can be more complicated to do so and actually in, some, in, in even different cases where we're looking for other angles, say we're going to be using another rule which is the, uh, the sine rule as well, so uh, check out the video for that one too.